Hey folks, I wanted to make a quick video that might help with the ergonomics of playing Extreme Versus and um, make it a little more comfortable. Might even make, it might even improve your execution in the game. Um, a spoiler, the answer is to change your button layout for, for the gamepad and also to eliminate the use of your ring finger on the arcade stick. Some of this is pretty common knowledge to experienced players, but it might not be so obvious if you hadn't seen it before. And ultimately, you should do what's most comfortable for you. So a brief history on me, I'm kind of old, my hands kind of suck, especially since 90 years ago um, when I first started playing EX vs on an arcade stick. Um, in my life I try to look for ways to reduce the stress I put on my hands between video games and just using a computer in general. Like I use a trackpad, a trackball, sorry, on my computer and like a split keyboard and all that kind of stuff. Um, but here's a couple of things I found related to EX vs to make it more comfortable to play. So, the primary ergonomic, ergonomic agitator in EX Versus is the jump button. It's the one you impress in the most often for boost dashing and for other movement, like, you know, step cancelling, full, full stepping, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you might not want your finger that presses the jump button to be tied up during another action, such as charging when you need it. Though, I got pretty good at charging main and dashing from the old days. Ideally, you would want to have the three main action buttons on different fingers because, um, you know, if I miss this character Kibale, she can charge both main and melee for two different things. So you, but it's, it can be, you can do it with practice. See, I'm charging both with, with just a thumb. But, um, for me, it's not that consistent and you can do a little better. So what you can do for the gamepad, change the control scheme. First, let's re-examine the default scheme, which, is range on square, melee on triangle, and jump on X. These are the three main attack button, main action buttons. That's A, B, and C right there. So what we're gonna do is actually change these two. So jump is gonna stay here on your thumb on X, and these two are gonna move to the triggers. So if I go to my custom set, um, immediately right away you see triangle. I mean square for me is sub. Um, Triangle is command because command by default is on the, on the triggers, but jump stays here on X. Melee moves over here to L1. Range attack moves to R1. And you might want to keep these to match the um, melee and range as well. So L2 is special melee along with L1 on melee and R2 is special uh, special range actually along with range attack. So, you, so now your three main buttons A, B and C are on R1 for A or shoot, L1 for B or melee, and C, jump, is still on, on X. Let's go back to the game to show what this looks like. I think I changed something by accident. Do I change? Let's go back. Did I remove pause? I think I did, yep. Live demo, folks. All right, so what this does is it separates the three main buttons, A, B, and C, um, shoot melee and jump from all being on the same finger so I can comfortably charge my shoot and my melee charge attacks while having full access to my jump button without doing any weird contortions. So hopefully you can appreciate how this can um, make your gameplay better as well as instead of just being more comfortable. But um, for arcade stick players there is another thing you can do. Let's switch over here. I'll try and get this in the camera view. So, I need to remember what this too. So for the arcade stick, I'm not actually changing the default layout for the button. So I'm just go back to the default joystick thing. So that puts ranged or A here, melee on triangle here, B, and jump or C is over here on R1. So that's A, B, C. If you look at my fingers, A, B, C, and shoot melee jump or dash so just by looking at this the problem kind of solves itself right away you have a separate finger for each each function so you can charge charge your melee and still dash around charge sorry i'm getting myself mixed up looking at three different screens so charge shoot and that and jump around charge melee and jump around all free so the ring finger is kind of open to use and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, 
But for me, this was good enough from, you know, the PS3 days with original Xboxes and full boost right up until the beginning of this year. It might even, might even be good enough for you um, if you were considering switching from a gamepad to a stick. Uh, it was awkward and kind of painful at first, but I eventually built up the strength of stamina and that really been good to do consistently. The problem is though, when the Maxi Boost beta first happened, I hadn't played any Versus games seriously for more than a year, so my ring finger after that first weekend session was busted. Like really hurting. Um, so I had to find another way, and the way that I found was double tapping, uh, with two different finger settings. <laughs> Seems kind of obvious. But double tapping with two fingers immediately cuts the action of my ring finger in half. I could also hit the boost dashes faster and with less stress than doing it with one finger. See, just just listen to this. This is a double a double tap with two fingers. And just doing it normally with one finger. The speed might not always be that important, but um it, it does make a difference sometimes. So I should I should have been doing this ages ago, <laughs> but it saved me a lot of a lot of stress and pain. Um, so when you're double tapping, you want to make sure you're hitting and letting go of the button two different times. So hit and then hit again. I'm um, a little faster than that. Yeah. So you didn't, you didn't have to do it that fast. I don't know if you can hear that. If you can hear it. RTX voice, it's pretty good. So it might be cutting that out. So hit, let go, hit, let go, hit, let go, and hit, hit, let go, and hit. So. You do it pretty fast. It's really fast. So if you're having trouble with doing that um, quickly, it might help if you aim for like the corner of the button with the first finger, and, and then just hit it normally with the second finger. I'm trying to line this up on the webcam. This is my eyes are weird. So yeah, that's if you're having trouble with doing it. Um, but the more you do it, you'll get to it. it. Might also help if you approach it from an angle rather than straight down with that first finger, like perpendicular down. Because you might still be pressing it when you like, like, like so. Well, I asked that actually worked this time. But if you're still pressing the button, when the second finger hits, it's, it's not going to come. So it takes a little bit of practice, but if you don't practice, you'll get it consistent. And you see, I'm doing it consistently like this, which is not even the way I do it anymore. <laughs> but I was doing it since after the first beta, I guess it was in April or something. Um, right up until like last week, I've been double tapping like this. And it's really been great. Um, but now we're back to that awkward ring finger because the objective that I have now is to try to eliminate this. This was started by uh, some videos to watch Japanese player videos. One was a really kind of insane um, video of the Hill Dolph from her tank. The guy playing it was showing his hands and it was like crazy APM the whole time. But one thing that I noticed that he was doing is that he wasn't using his ring finger. And I I'll link that video in. Well, I'm kind of spoiling it doing it now because that's what I'm used to now. But um, I'll link it in the video. But he wasn't using his ring finger. And then I saw another video posted at the beginning of this month, July, by the Japanese player Nen, who has a lot of excellent tutorial videos on his channel. But they're you know all in Japanese. Um, but his most recent tutorial was how to do the bootstop correctly. Um, if you don't know, there's like, like four different ways to do it. But the best way is a certain way. But in that, he, he explains how to use an arcade stick, and he was also doing it without using his ring finger. So the way that he and some other Japanese players double tap is using these two fingers, and not the ring finger at all. So they just do that. And if they need to reach the other buttons, they just stretch it over. It's not even that much of a reach. So if, well, I'm, 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 I'm out of my uh, axis right now. So if we just rewind a little bit, when you use your arcade stick, your default state is like this. One finger here, one finger here, one finger here, and they just live there the whole time. But now what I do is I shift to the right a little bit. So my middle finger is actually on boost, so I can double tap easily. And then if I need to reach to shoot, I can just like, just a really, really slight stretch over. And if I need to hit melee, I can still do that with my middle finger. And it's a good thing that I learned to double tap the wrong quote unquote way first because I can do that method while I'm charging A using my other fingers. <laughs> so it helped that I learned that. But I guess you don't really need to double tap too much when you're um, charging. Because something else that I learned from the video that Nen shared at the beginning of the month is that people who charge B a lot, they actually boost more with their pinky finger and not their ring finger. 
And when I discovered that, this is the first time I've ever seen that, it's really comfortable. Like, really comfortable. You, you might not want to do this, like, every time. Like, you might not want to char play entire games with a down beat and then um, dashing like that, but it's incredibly comfortable compared to doing the ring finger. Like, and I'm still, still pretty much used to using my ring finger like this. I always have the muscle memory to fall back on. But when I remember, or if my finger starts getting tired and I start thinking about it, I can use the pinky. Or the double tap. So yeah, um, that's basically it. <laughs> In, instead of changing the buttons for the arcade stick to make it more ergonomic and comfortable and, and improve your gameplay, um, you just move your hand over to the side a little bit and double tap with your ring with your middle finger and ring finger, like that. So give that a try. Um, see if you like it. It's really helped me a lot with, with my old hands, almost 40 year old hands, joints. Um, and yeah, that can help you a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.